Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and uh, well, there's a new version of Dwarf Fortress out. It's uh, 0.34.06, and uh, well, it's a quite a nice update. Uh, a lot of things which were broken were fixed in it, including training, including animal training. Animal training was broken for the longest of times, and uh, you needed a dungeon master who would never come. And uh, my fortress is going on pretty nice, by, in the, uh, by the way. Anyway, you needed the dungeon master for training. And um, he never came, but that's fixed now. You, you can animal training is a job like a normal job, and it uh, depends on, on skill and quality as well. And uh, I'll, I'll go into it later more. Let's, uh, but first let's go over the update list again. I think you'd like this uh, me going over this. And um, well, let's start with this then. Um, oh, before I go on, uh, a lot of these options have to do with animal training. Animal training has had a complete over overhaul. It's yeah, completely different from before. So yeah, I'm going to skip most of those parts and cover those later uh, in game. I'll show you how to uh, how to train animals with this new version. And uh, well, with that that said, let's go over the list. And um, well, there we start already with uh, animal training familiarity. It, yeah. Uh, this depends on civilization now too. It depends on the world gen the animal training. Your your civilization might uh, train giant tigers, and uh, you might have that that information already because other dwarves have done it before in the past in the world generation. And it's so it's even built in the world gen now. And uh, well, training knowledge yeah depends really on, on the animals more than later. And um, if you yeah, you can even uh, give it back to the world gem. Basically, if you have merchants come to your fortress and they survive, um, not that important. Training status, which can deteriorate. That's very important for training later. It deteriorates. You need a guy to keep training the animals, or the training will fade, and they'll become wild animals again. Um, okay. Other things, tools to train arena is not that important. Arena is a dev thing, a testing thing. Um, text site color key for town map exp town map exports is for people who want to ex export town maps. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, for legend mode, mode I think. Um, bug fixes are important though. Uh, save corruption from the moment from saving at the moment of trade meetings. Nice that that's fixed. Uh, animals have that have. Killed attacks if members no longer attack when trained. No idea what he exactly means with this, but well, it has to do with yeah, having them your animals make kills. Um, also cloth fixes. Yeah, should have mentioned it earlier. The other good part, the other uh, yeah major part of this update is cloth fixes. And uh, there were a lot of bugs with cloth and um, your dwarves trying to pick them up and leaving them around and they'll stay there forever and it was pretty ugly and lots of people hated that. But a lot of uh, things about that have been fixed nowadays so uh, that should be very nice. Um, so and one of those fixes is allowed people to pick up their own clothes. Yeah, very important for your dwarves to be able to pick up their own clothes. But that's why where stuff was lying around and uh, stops server victims from obsessing over the lost clothes. So, server victims, dwarves who had like an, uh, uh, their leg ha hacked off, which, yeah, hacked off is a good word, good word even. Like they they were complaining about their socks or their sh their pants or their shoes. I why don't I have my shoes anymore? Well, your whole leg is gone. They know now. Um. Okay, and field pickup job well, has to do with uniforms. Uh, also, clothing fixes. Never noticed that myself. Pickers equipment spam handled. That's the spam the the message you get. So this is something else. Spam. Uh, this is the spam. Whatever you see here in the A list in <laughs> the A menu. And uh, well, looks like someone has gone berserk as well. Things are going really fine in my fortress. Um, okay. Um, what else? Workshop clutter change. Not that important. Evil good tree shrubs are back. I think this is the things like the bulbs, the bubble bulbs. Were they gone in the previous update? I guess. But um, apparently they're back. Um, 
Let's see, ownership allows for things that have been thrown away. Again, about 10 to 23 days. This is one of the big cloth fixes. Things that are thrown away normally stay there forever and dwarves won't ever pick them up and it usually leaves very cluttered uh, barracks at least. Um, let me show you for now as well. My barracks is in this level and there's a lot of clutter in here. There's like this stuff. This is all with an X in front of it. With the X here it means it's broken basically and your dwarves won't use it anymore. But it'll just lie here because it still belongs to one dwarf. But after a while, after yeah, 10, 20 days, maybe the uh, the ownership goes, and then a dwarf should be able to bring it to the the right stockpile, a review stockpile, I think. Um, so that's a very nice cloth fix. Um, okay, on with show. Um, yeah, clothing deteriorates in the review stockpile, so yeah, it goes to the review stockpile. Um, or training things, yeah, training with large animals decoupled from kennels, yeah. Normally you'd need a kennel to train war dogs, nowadays you do not. You, I've toyed around with this and the kennels nowadays are pretty much useless. You can only train um, vermin in it, like rats and fluffy vamplers and stuff like that. Kennels now, you can probably skip them. Um, Okay, uh, what else? Uh, animals being trained wander around less. That's nice. They don't walk around your entire fortress. Uh, selection of war hunting animals yeah, has to do with all the new stuff. Stop young animals from lashing, lashing out. This might be the <laughs> why you sometimes have a horse dying or something like that. There was a dog too, too close to him and he would uh, do a young puppy and the young puppy attacked the dog. Ripped his throat, uh, the young puppy attacked the horse, ripped his throat out, the horse dies. I think that should help with this. Not sure. Um, let's see, decreased vampire frequency for uh, fort migration. That is nice because a lot of vampires show up. And like sometimes you get even two, three vampires at the same time, or all clans, so fun times. Um, anyway, fixed metal bone helm artifacts, not that important. Uh, problems with socks going on the same foot. Well, that is a problem. Those two socks on your left foot uh, doesn't really help your dwarf, but uh, that's fixed too. Um, let's see. Champion can be appointed. Fixed various circumstances causing failing failed position activations. Ah, <laughs> has to do with the military. I think I saw it as well. Um, if I look, I look at the military menu, yeah. Here. Yeah, I get a menu, uh, a message here. You need someone who can appoint this position. And I think, yeah, you need well a squad commander in the first squad. Like if I set a squad guy here, some random mason. Now I can set him here. So you need all the squads to have a leader before you can set them. And I think that has to do with this. And uh, uh, that's that. Um, let's see where were we with list. Yeah, it should be almost done. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, this. Tools, weights fixed. Well, it's a raw fix. Uh, yeah, only do the weight. Nothing. It's nothing tangible for you to watch. Nothing that you'd uh, notice. Uh, material size respected in standard tool construction jobs. No idea. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Yeah, it's respected standard tool construction job. I, I have no idea what it means with the standard tool construction job, I think. Maybe like building an anvil or something, maybe building a forge, since a forge an anvil is a tool. I don't know. Um, reintroduce negative thoughts from clothing. Nakedness thoughts take a few weeks. Nakedness thoughts take a few weeks. So yeah, if your dwarves all run around naked, in a couple of weeks time, they, they'll probably think like, hmm, maybe I have to put you some clothes uh, put some clothes on even <laughs> so that might there might be na running around naked for a couple of weeks but oh well <laughs> who cares um let's see stop zillions of chat dots from being stacked up no idea stop critters from breaking away from being led in an inconsistent way and i think this has broken a couple of more things since like um, I saw a message a post on about trolls on uh, Reddit as well, and 
it seems trolls aren't as smart as more uh, anymore, and I, I have the same problem as uh, myself actually. Um, there was it here? Maybe there's still troll corpse left, or no? There's still some troll cages with some trolls in there. Nice. And um, anyway, uh, these three were in the cages, but there were more trolls around us, and they did nothing. They just stood there, and then until I sent like uh, my Markstore squad until two here to shoot them with arrows, but then when they got hurt they finally left but I think there's still some bug fixes with squad command for the enemies and well said the same thing here with a couple of goblins but also has to do with the layout that I made on this fortress um, anyway almost done with that list now I think blah 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 um, yeah breaking from away from being led in an inconsistent way yeah Fair strings type for true type. Well, that's true type font changes again. Doesn't matter at all. Um, okay, well, but well, that's the major changes in this dwarf version of Dwarf Fortress. And well, the too long don't didn't read version is animal hall, animal training is completely been overhauled, and clothing clothing bugs have been fixed. That's the short version. Um, now let's show you a little bit of my fortress again since I've been playing around with this and uh, I really should show you the new version of training since it's so weird. And I'll, I'll make it a proper dwarf fortress uh, day of it. It's tutorial about it. Still not all that completely... Um, <laughs> what you can call it? Uh, certain about how to, tra to train it but I think I got the basics down so I'll show you that for now. And uh, some traders have arrived apparently. Uh, screw them. Um, okay, well, well, first let's you give me a little show. Oh, and I know you're going to ask. Uh, this tile set, by the way, this is the. What was it called? The CLA graphics set. I'd show you here, um, but the Wimbley site is having a little bit, bit of problems, or. Well, not anymore. It fixed itself. Nice. Uh, let's see where I found it. It was here near the in the graphic set. Uh, b -b 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 this one, the CLA graphic set uh, for zero 02. It was the first one to update to zero uh, 34.06, and I tried that, and it, it's okay. It's like the V graphic set, which I tried it a couple of while ago as well. Uh, Dubstep is getting restless apparently. Uh, she's I think done with being uh, in heat, but uh, well, she's lonely. Um, where was I? So, so the CLA graphics set is in here, and I'm really going to need to give that cat some attention if I want to continue on with the video. Okay, cat attentionated. <laughs> um, where was I? Um, oh yeah, CLA graphics set, uh, get it here on the, the Wimbley site if you like it. Um, Let's see, let's go back to it. Oh, and the main changes, uh, so it's, it looks a lot like the V set, but it, they have changed the animals, and that's pretty good for this version, actually. Um, like, if you really zoom in, zoom in, zoom out, on a, a D like this, like it, the, the, uh, the letters here, this is a dog, but it has been changed. The dual dog looks like it has little dog ears and a tail and it's sitting up, and uh, this is something as hell. Water buffalo looks like a, a W, but yeah, um, that's the, the nice change of this this tile pack. So it is a D. It's a, it's still a letter D, but it's also a dog. Uh, it changes. There's like cats who look like cats, and well, it doesn't work for the Reese's macaques and the ravens and the emus, but uh, it works for the most of the standard stuff you can take with you, like the chickens and the the ducks and the turkeys. Yeah, like these are turkeys. You see. Sort of have a turkey tail. Uh, here are the, the ducks, which are, I guess, sort of duckish with the, the yeah. There's a little, sort of beak, and uh, I think this yeah, this is a chicken. But, uh, otherwise, it's a pretty basic set, sort of ASCII-ish and sort of similar to that V starter kit, which is also on the DFFD. Um, anyway, that's that for that set. Um, Okay, let's give you a little bit of a, a tour through my fortress then. Um, let's start up here. Um, this is top level. This is the 
Oh, an extra refuge and an extra graveyard since I had a lot of deaths. And uh, it's also where the, the guys shoot from, the, to the ramparts, here is the barracks, um, archery targets and uh, well, all the other stuff. And here's the sea by the way, so this is a seaside fortress and all this stuff, this is just waves uh, hitting the shore here. And if you haven't seen this yet, this is also one of the nice parts of Dwarf Fortress. If you, if you go to the ocean, you get, you, you get wave mechanics like this. And uh, well here comes a wave. and. It's special. It it fits the the ground and the wave comes to it towards it and uh, well it it works. It's a very nice effect. Um, let's see. Um, so the tour here is a lot of food production. And there's apparently some miasma in my main staircase, which is a problem. Um, here down here is uh, puppy stockpile, turkey stockpile, and wood stockpiles. Uh, here's some more random production, some forging, some normal outside forging since I had lig lignite and coal. Um, some more stockpiles. Here is a special training level I made. Uh, built some walls in here, but here's done so tons of uh, Reese's macaques which I've caught and trained, and same with ravens, stray ravens, and here with emus, uh, emus. Emu? Nah, no, I am. Yeah, I'm going to go with emu. <laughs> that, that sounds the best, I think. <laughs> um, emu. Um, anyway, tons of them and tons of them are trained, and you can see they have different quality trainers as well. This one is plus train plus, and the other ones are minus, and it's like uh, normal qualities for an item. But uh, oh, and here I have some porcupines as well. Fortunately. Um, no war animals, but that's more on that later. Um, here's another uh, normal living quarters level, and here's a big uh, crafting level, which I dug out a little bit more. Since there was a bunch of marble in here, and making, making the fortress out of marble. And now down the stairway, there's not that much anymore. I, um, graveyard is here somewhere, yeah. Graveyard, which needs to be bigger, and here's a little platform to throw goblins off. It's very nice. That's that's been working. And uh, if I blow, uh, <laughs> look at all the way at the bottom of the cave here, you can uh, see some goblins here in the dwarf here already. And uh, if we go down some more, yeah, everything's sort of filled with dead goblins here, which I threw off there. And uh, well, also my gob <laughs> my dwarfs can take some water from here. This is very very um, hygienic, but um, who cares? Um, and that's the fortress for now, basically. Um, so, so let's show you how to do the training stuff. Um, yeah, it's weird. And uh, well, let's first set a dwarf since one uh, my my major training dwarf died, which is a damn shame since. It's based on skill, and well, it's nice to have a, a dwarf which has a lot of skill in training. Um, well, here we have a ranger. Rangers probably have some animal training. Let's see if uh, with G does he have something like animal training in here. Hmm. He has a great tracker, but and a novice animal trainer. Well, it ha it will have to do. Um, he's also called a marks, so he's in the military, and I shouldn't take a military dwarf. Um, Meh. Yeah. Well, I'll just have to take him out of the military. Um, okay, so let's first give him a new train uh, name. Let's call him the Animal Trainer. Just Trainer. To be able to find him easily. Uh, let's make sure he's not in the army somewhere. He isn't? No. 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 And Amy Trainer, oh, tra Amy Trainer still alive. Okay, that's nice. Um, I had two trainers, Amy Trainer and uh, and a normal trainer, boss trainer, but boss trainer died. Um, okay, so that said, I have a dwarf which is set to trainer, and he, and the most important thing is he has the hunting skill or the, the animal training skill, not the hunting skill, but it's set in uh, the hunting related menu. And um, well, when you have him set, the the main jobs go to the animals me menu. It's the, the Z uh, enter for animals menu. And um, well, here you have a whole lot of your options and a whole lot of your animals. And here's a, a bunch of war dogs which you have trained, so it, it definitely is possible. 
Um, okay, one second. Okay, uh, where was I? Keep getting interrupted. Um, bep, bep, I, yeah, we are uh, going to busy with training, and let's find a dog if, if it's possible. And yeah, there was a dog. Um, okay, so you have this whole list, and, and you get get here with ZA menu, and well, you have puppies like normal. It, it's always uh, the same way around. It's nice if you make a puppy stockpile, so you know they're all compacted together and they'll breed, and. Uh, well, after a while you get dog puppies, they grow up to be dogs, and you have a dog here, and let's set him to be trained. Um, now the smart thing is to do, the smart thing to do is, is to set a trainer first, since this is so based on skill. And um, well, I'm going to select a dog here, press T to select a trainer, and well now I'm going to select my best trainer, which in this case should be uh, Emu Trainer. Select him. He's not a dog <laughs> name trainer, but he'll train any, anything. This emu trainer is just a name I gave him. And um, now, if there, this dog needs any training or whatever, uh, emu, trainer, emu trainer is sure to do it. Uh, but now he's still not just a dog. I need to train him to be a, a war dog. And well, that's the, the W key. And you see the W after this. And this means it will be trained for war training. And. Uh, well, that's basically it when you exit the game, uh, or exit that menu, your uh, uh, trainer should already get that menu. And then he went insane. <laughs> My trainer has gone berserk. Uh, fun, fun times. Um, okay, so the other guy, <laughs> trainer. That's the only trainer I have now then. Um, go find that dog again. Let's see... Somewhere here near the top, I think. Here, you. You get a new trainer. You get the trainer. The ranger, which is a terrible trainer, but he will train you into a war dog. And as you notice, the W status has not been removed. That's still there. That sticks, luckily. And, uh, well, that's the basics. Now, you don't even need the kennel. You just need uh, the guy to start training, and let's see if he does that. Not yet. Mm, let's turn hauling off from him. Let's turn the hunting off from him, so I'm sure he will do the training. Um, why do you have no job? Hmm. Interrupted by Ranger. Is he also insane? Come on. No. Uh... Where? Interrupted by a ranger? Oh, maybe it counts the other guy as a ranger, I think. No, trainer. Trainer counsels drink, interrupted by a ranger. So a trainer isn't the ranger which this trainer is talking about. It's just the other one, which is insane. And, well, my sheriff should take care of it, I think. The captain of the guard, wherever he is. What now? A miner has gone with her kill. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the middle of the fucking dentro spiral. I was about to give this fruit up, so I thought, why not make the video now? And, uh, well, <laughs> it makes a fun video at least. Um, could you at least do the job of training now? Now you first want a drinking job. Well, drink then. Should be near the drinking here. Is that. Is this the ranger? Aim a trainer. Yeah, here he is. Okay. Okay. We'll just send in the whatever's left of my military squad. I sent them out against the goblins, and that was a mistake. <laughs> Should never do that. But it was fun. <laughs> um, I saw a military head in there for a second. And I think he's probably dead now. Um, let's see, is Amy Trainer dead now? Um, Beep, 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 beep. This menu has become worse, actually, though. This was just sorted by, like, things which died at least. Uh, yeah. Now it's sorted by, by order instead of, um, order which died, and sort of, instead of just dwarves and animals and, and enemies. Like, this list should be, it should be listed in order like this, but also, on top of that, 
it should have ch changed between animals, dwarves, and enemies. But um, oh well. Um, okay, so aim trainer is dead. Luckily, let's claim everything here to be sure. Although the, the option is even even on. And uh, oh, the stray hunting dog is dead. Um, now I'd really like it if you would do that job so I can at least show it that one dog can become a war dog like this. The Rondovanus <laughs> doesn't die, let's just like that. Uh, let's turn off the station as well. No. Um. No, he, he wants to drink. And where is he? He is drinking here. Just taking a little while. And he's interrupted by other people. Well, this won't work. This uh, this fortress is way too big and it's a tantrum spiral to do anything at the moment. I'll need to fix that and uh, I won't. I'm going to just abandon in this fortress and uh, just leave them be. Who cares? Um, but um, yeah, well, anyway, that's the basics of animal training. <laughs> you've, you've seen the idea. The, the Z menu here has changed a lot. And uh, if it doesn't work, set a trainer with T. And if that doesn't work, uh, your animal probably can't be trained. Oh, and that's a very important part as well. Not every animal can be trained to be a war dog or a war, a war animal. When this patch came out, I was thinking, well, maybe I can train war ducks now, but no, you can't, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, let me show you the list, since this is an important one for trainable war animals and stuff like that. This is just from the, the Dwarf Fortress Wiki channel, maybe if I update it, probably won't be updated at all. But here is a list of tra uh, animals which can be trained. So, in this fortress I didn't have any, I have like emus and ravens and uh, rhesus macaques. As you can see in the other menus here as well, uh, some merchants as well, and rhesus macaques when they're going around, and ravens and pond grabbers. These cannot be trained, you cannot train a war raven, unfortunately. You can train them and the whole use for the training is that they'll be tame and they can lay eggs and they won't attack your dwarves and then you can have raven eggs all day long and uh, same with the emus uh, emus I'm going to get a lot of comments about the emu probably um, anyway so yeah for those, for those you know, animals really training isn't all that worth it but for these animals for this list the dogs, the mandals, gorillas polar bears, whatever you can train them into war animals and having some war, war polar bears <laughs> walking around your dwarves really makes them a lot lot stronger and very fun to experiment with that same with cheetahs and leopards and, and stuff like that and well the only thing you should watch out for for is these three as noted by the exclamation marks here the exclamation marks mean these animals are a poor choice for training due to their voracious appetite for grass these eat a lot of grass. You can have like an elephant and he'll eat like <laughs> five tiles a day or something. I, I don't know, but be careful because he'll eat all the grass in the damn neighborhood. These are heavy eaters. You're better off getting a, a bear like this, a polar bear, a grizzly bear, or a gorilla, or a giant eagle if possible. Even better, a flying one. Try not to get elephants, but well, if you have enough grass, if you want to go around it and make war, uh, war, uh, war elephants, this is your day. This is your patch, and you can actually do that again now without without hacks, without uh, setting exotics to trainable. And that's uh, that's very nice. I'm uh, definitely going to try and uh, make uh, make a fortress with something uh, at least out of these animals. Maybe find a, a savanna which has some jaguars or lions walking around and train them or something. But, um, well, that's for later. Um, as for this video, 30 minutes in, this has been long enough for a little update video. Um, anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you got some idea about this patch, what's, what's new, what's new even. And uh, have fun training your animals. <laughs> Hell, uh, I will. Hell. Oh no, yeah, you can train dragons now. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge for everyone, train a fucking dragon. Although you need a guy with a lot of skill, so we wouldn't just do just do it with a guy I just selected like a trainer guy. No, you need a guy first with a lot of sk training skill before you start training a dragon. But um, well, that's all for now. Um, 
I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.